All right, what's up air signs? Empress 777 here today with a general love reading for the end of February into March. It's going to be for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. It, it is a collective read. Okay, so let's jump right in. Holy angels and spirit guides, give me clear, concise messages for all of my air signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Holy spirit and angel guides, clear and concise messages for all of my air signs. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I certainly am. All right. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Click that like button so that our energy makes it along this platform evenly. The video makes it to whoever it may need it. As you know, that these videos are general, right? So they may, not, they may or may not resonate. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Put yourself where you belong in the stories. We're going to get right into this. All right. We're going to start with the energy oracle deck. There is information down below to set up a personal read if that's something that you're interested in. And this reading will have an extended where we will dig into your finances and career for the end of February into March. So let's take a look here. What do we have, Spirit, for my air signs? There we go. All right. <laughs> the thinking man. Gender doesn't matter. Somebody is deep in thought. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to figure you out. So I do get the energy that either someone is left to strategize or think about, sit in the corner and think about what they've done, <laughs> or they're trying to figure out what you're thinking. Do you see what I'm saying? So they may be guided to really look at some things that they have been doing, all right? Um, this may be an individual who's being forced to look at what they've done. And it's only because of how the situation is turning out for them. I get the idea that it's not going along as planned. <laughs> and this is why they are now thinking so wildly about what is happening and what the future of this re relationship may hold. You know, it's almost like they had a gem in their hand, a diamond, all right? A very rare gemstone, all right? They could be looking at your pictures. <laughs> looking at videos, looking at your social media, and kind of really deep in thought in reference to what their next steps need to be. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe a conversation needs to be had. Uh, all right, so we have financial support. So child, alimony, or government. So this could be a person who is kind of focused on their finances guys this could be their strategy all right um this is someone who may be trying to come up with a plan so that you cannot say no right it's like there's no way that you would be able to say no to this offer once i level up once i show you what i'm made of once i show you what i can provide you or do for you or what you know what we could be together there's no way that yeah, that you won't want more right it'll be insatiable it'll be undeniable and it will be um, a no-brainer is what I'm hearing. So this is somebody who is trying to come up with a plan. I don't know what they did in the past, but they may need one hell of a plan. Okay. Um, I hope they don't try to come in trying to buy your love. You know what I'm saying? Um, we do see this gym here. So that does signify that they may be trying to figure out what it is that, you know, will kind of get you to look at things again. Um, we do have obsession okay so this is someone who is obsessively thinking over this connection it's like a loop over and over and over and over and over and over um it says must have indulgence so i definitely get the idea that this is someone who thinks that material things or whatever it is that they are able to provide you is what's going to do the trick i don't know how true that is but they just want to make themselves so undeniably um irresistible that you will not be able to say no to whatever this answer or this uh to whatever this offer is that they're coming in with i heard answer so maybe there's a conversation coming about um we have twin flames so the two of you are mirrored souls guys all right this is why the connection may feel so tied right it may feel so strong um it may feel so confusing okay <laughs> twin flame relationships are not the most glamorous and they can be very confusing 
using relationships because they are unlike any other relationship or any other connection that you've ever encountered because there's only one mirrored soul in this entire world in this entire universe that mirrors your own right there's only one relationship that will ever be like that so if you encounter that relationship it is the ultimate mind f guys okay you do you will not know what's going on um these are the kind of relationships that send you into an awakening they send you into a bout of research right like what is this that i'm dealing with who is this person that i have encountered that is like no other person that i've ever met before in my life and why do i love and hate them so much at the same time that's that kind of connection guys okay However, we do have Archangel Michael. So you are protected. It says protect. It says protection, pre prevented from harm and divine intervention. So this is very divinely guided, of course. Twin flame relationships definitely are. I don't know if it's your reading or, um, well, I'm saying your reading. I normally do like Aquarius and Piscean readings. Um, but I believe Aquarius, for those of you who are watching, I believe you would have gotten a twin flame uh, card come out in this situation's oracle deck sometime um not too long ago so i'm definitely getting a lot of vibes out of that read i just don't know which one it was <laughs> i do so many um let's take a look here so regardless of how much confusion is there you may have definitely made up your mind this other party is certainly the one that's all up in their head trying to come up with a strategy. They're being strategic at this point, guys, okay? Um, and it is because of the obsession, all right? It is. They may also feel the worth in themselves is directly correlated to this relationship. So almost like losing you would be like losing a point of self-value. And that is not very healthy at all. That gives me twin flame vibes all over, right? That's a lesson that needs to be learned. Um, as sometimes in twin flame relationships, you have that empath to somewhat of narcissistic traits kind of capabilities, the two parties that encounter one another, right? So it could be very triggering. It could be one that just kind of puts you in a space that you've never been in before, right? So let's take a look here, see what we get. I do love that the Archangel Michael came out though, however, right? So we definitely know that spirit has its hand all in this. Um, with this insatiable card, I do get an idea that it's been very tempting to not go back. Um, don't beat me up. That's just what I hear. A uh, twin flame relationship is very hard to say no to guys, okay? And when a person comes back after they strategized what they think, you know, will get you to kind of look at this again, to reconcile, to be with them, to, you know, Kind of get ahead of the curve is what they try to do and then if they come back in with these words that suggest that they will be changed that there will be more effort put in that you are currently on the same page or that you will at least be working to get there it is hard to say no to guys it is okay so what is the current energy of this connection spirit we have yeah so we have the two of swords in the reverse so this is someone who is undeniably have they have made up their mind guys they it is undeniable that they view you as the one. This could be someone who is currently waking up to what you are to them, all right? But we can also read this as somebody who in the past was definitely blinded, guys, okay? You see how she's wearing this blindfold? She's being pulled in two different directions. Um, and, and so we can read that as a connection in which a crossroads, it, it continues to come to this crossroads in which you can never decide and as one, okay, in a union, which way to go, right? Both parties want to go in a different direction. All right, so I'm not saying one person is right over the other person, but it's a contract, okay? So getting on the same page, getting on one accord is necessary. It is required for union. All right. So the fact that they're over, they are overthinking is what I hear guys, but they're, they're being strategic and that is what I don't like about it. Okay. It doesn't come from a place of genuine concern of what has happened to this connection and where things might be going. It comes from a, a more unhealthy, low vibrating place of just general overall obsession 
of the strength of this connection. They can't let you go, so they kind of got to come up with a way to get you to not say no, okay? Give you an irresistible offer, but not necessarily to, to come on one accord and go towards actual union. So getting back with an individual who's only being strategic for selfish purposes, let's be very clear about what this is, then I start to question what the longevity of that will look like. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost pointless because if we're going to get back together just to break up again, then what the F am I doing with my time, darling? What are we doing here? People will waste your time for their own selfish reasons, and I think that that's where you are with things. So now we have what is the root cause of the issue? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Four of Wands. Spirit is not playing games with y'all. They're not playing that is our 1111 card in the deck, okay? All right? It's all a, it's a twin flame card, guys. It's popping out again. So this is inevitable. This is double confirmation. This is exactly what this relationship is, but an awakening needs to happen at some point in time. Okay? An awakening, no longer being blinded. It needs to happen for union, but this person is being strategic. They do want you back. But it is for very selfish reasons. It is because of the triggered energies that they're getting in their own emotions all right being apart from you is definitely hurting them it's definitely been a painful kind of you know heart-wrenching process that so much so that they've come they have become obsessed guys and so that is not healthy um because then it's like when you get back with them it's going to be the same cycle guys that's how that goes in twin flame relationships the breakup to makeup yeah, once you make up, if there is no ascension, if there is no awakening, if there is no self-awareness, self-clarity, um, no changes made, then it is another cycle that you complete with that person and the ending is inevitably the same, okay? So it is literally a waste of your time and this is what the root of the problems are. It is how strong this connection is and it is the lack of effort to want to change so that union is possible. It could be from either end, but I'm just speaking on what I see here myself, right? That obsession portion is what is the drive for this person to try to be strategic in getting you back every time, guys. It is. It is. Okay, and they do not like the feelings that they get in separation of their own self-value depleting okay with every text that you don't answer with every phone call that you do not answer with every text that you leave on red that you don't respond to yeah you know th that ego just gets bruised every single time it just gets bashed on and they cannot take it they begin to obsess over it they do not like the way that it feels and this is what drives them to want to reconcile but that reconciliation is not stable. It's not long lasting. And so this is why time and time again, you've been like chucking them up. You see what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are definitely obsessed guys. I'm now looking at this insatiable card again. Yeah, it looks, it definitely looks different now. <laughs> Unquenchable, okay? Want more. So they can't get enough of you. They can't get enough of this connection, which is understandable. But sir, ma'am, are you going to make the necessary changes so that reconciliation can lead to actual union, right? So that the foundations don't continue to be rocked? Hello? I mean, are you going to do that or not? Because if you are not, then I highly doubt, you know, and that's just me. I can't speak for y'all. I'm just saying what I see. I highly doubt. Oh, yeah, if you do not awaken to this shit, this is what is on the bottom of the deck, guys. The high priestess in the reverse. All right, so we know that the high priestess is all about what? Intuition, your third eye, tapping into discernment and being clear, having mental clarity and being able to listen to spirit. This person does not do that. So reconciliation? Yeah, I don't, I just don't see that. It, I don't see the longevity in that with this high priestess showing up in the reverse, but we are going to take a look in the extended to see what your next steps should be. Okay. Because what this person do is none of your business. I'm just saying, like, don't be me. I'm just saying you're holding up your end of the contract, which is what a twin flame is. You guys have a contract together, a soul contract. 
as long as you're doing your part, then what they doing ain't got nothing to do with you. You see what I'm saying? Okay, that's between them and spirit and the universe. So we're going to take a look at what you need to do moving forward in the extended. We are going to take a look at where this relationship is heading, you know, and the in the recent future in the more current future, right? Within the next maybe three or four months, we're going to look at that. And then we're going to look at your career and money, get to that bag, right? We're going to take a look at that in the extended. All right, guys, click that subscribe button, click the like button. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you over in the extended. It's going to be linked down below.